Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday. Oh my gosh. I have to get Jax in like 10 minutes. But I'm going to eat my lunch. It's Friday. That means it's pizza day. So I got some pizza. I actually have... I actually have a lot of food today. But I'm not going to have time to eat it. I have pizza, rice, broccoli, and peppers with ranch. Mmm. Oh my god, you guys, last night there were tornadoes everywhere. Here. I know they were in other states, but they were in our county. crazy we were actually in Lima and heading home from Lima when the tornado warnings for our county came on the radio and the closer we got to home oh my gosh the sky was looking so bad we were actually with Jay, because yesterday during the day there were storms. Which meant Allie would be walking home in thunder and lightning while I was picking up Jack's. So he went to the house and went to her, bu to her bus stop and got her off the bus. While I was getting Jack's. Then once Adrian got home, he's like, let's go to Lima. He wanted to go to Gabe's um, to look for a shirt. He has bands playing a couple shows this weekend. So we went to Gabe's and we ended up stopping at TJ Maxx and then he wanted to get rapid fire pizza. So we went there and ate. While we were there eating, my mom texted me and told me that our county was under 20 to watch. So instantly I'm like, okay, I just want to be home. And then I pulled up the weather and Adri happened to see it on my phone that there was a tornado watch. But I didn't say anything to Allie and Jax. So we're in there eating. Allie and Jax ate so much food. This house looks so good. So they were eating so good. I'm like, let's just hurry up and eat so we can get home. It's going to storm. And so when we started getting home, that's when it went to a tornado warning. As we're getting closer, I'm like, Jay, I'm like, why are we driving into the county that has a tornado warning? He's like, I can make it home. I'm like, I know. I'm like, but why don't we just turn around and go back? And the kids are like crying. I'm like, Dad, just go back. Turn around and go back. And they're crying. I'm like, guys, just calm down. The sky all around us is just, there's lightning everywhere. <clears throat> And then we got to one town over from our town, and the sky was looking really bad. And I'm like, I'm starting to cry. I'm like, will you please just turn around and go back? He's like, but I can make it home. Like, I know you can make it home, but that's not the point. I don't want to be home. And that's where there's a the tornado warning. <clears throat> so I turn around. Of course, the kids are yelling, Dad, turn around. What are you doing? Just because... I drive to a county that has a tornado warning when we're in one that doesn't, you know? Not a watch, a warning. It was a full-on warning. Um. Oh, wait. I have rice. I have peppers. I have peppers with ranch. I have rice. And I have pudding. I forgot there was pudding, too. So, I have peppers. I have broccoli. Oh, my gosh. Not to meet. Oh my gosh. Megan really filled up this thing full of pudding. This is pudding. <clears throat> and then Bridget hooked me up with a thing of rice. 
Yeah, so we go back to Lima. We went over by Sam's just like sat in the parking lot. But then my mom called to see what was going on. She's like, do you just want to come to my house? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I think we're going to try and go home. They're like, no, we're heading back to Lima. <laughs> So I was on the phone with her. She's watching, um, she was watching the weather. I'm like breaking news. Cause it's like, I said, okay, there's a confirmed tornado on the ground. It's heading this way. You have the storms going this way. So here in the town where, sorry, I'm trying to hurry. Where Adrian Jack's go to school, an actual tornado, confirmed tornado touchdown. And then it ended up going over by Indian Lake. Like, if you guys have seen any videos of us at the lake, going to the lake for, like, 4th of July. Okay. The videos and pictures I've seen, I don't know. They were saying that people were being pulled, for, like, bodies were being pulled from the lake. I don't know if that's true or not. There's another right outside of here is a um, campground. It got demolished. Um, at least one trailer park that I know of. The lake, like... Indian Lake, there's so much damage. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know how many confirmed fatalities or fatalities there's been. It was just awful. So last night was crazy. And then this morning, there's a two-hour delay. This whole day is just crazy. It's nice out now. It's like in the high 50s. But everything's just crazy. Oh, so this morning, so then Jay last night, the kids asked him, they said, Dad, Allie, when we were eating pizza, she said, Dad, before there were even tornadoes that she knew of. So, Dad, will you stay? Will you stay with us tonight so we can be safe? And he kind of looked at me. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, I can't even lift the thing. I can't even lift the door to the floor um, to go down to the storm cellar. It's not on a hinge. It's just a square, two square doors. And you just have to lift up their heaviest shit. <clears throat> so we got home and we were checking the weather. He's like, it's not calling for anything else. And then other people were saying, yeah, there's more storms coming. So he slept on the couch last night. So when we got up this morning, I was getting Adria up and he yelled upstairs like, hey, he's like, is Adria up? I'm like, yeah, she's up. I said, but she's in here screwing around. She got up like way before she had to. And then she was running late to the point she missed the bus. So she's screwing around running late. Allie and Jax woke up on their own way before they had to get up. Is it okay? Is it well, I'm leaving. I'm like, well, you're already here. I'm like, can you help me get kids ready for school? I'm like, Jack still needs dress. Allie is dressed. But he left, so it's like, I'm like, okay. I get myself ready for work. Gotta get Jack's ready. That's why I said it's the same thing. I said, whether you're here or not, I'm still a single parent. I'm like, you're already here. I have to get myself ready for work, and these kids need ready. And then shortly after that, um, he called me and was yelling at me because he got his papers for about the custody. Court was like, I told him, I said, I've been telling you about it for two weeks. It's nothing new. I don't know why you're acting surprised. It's just to get your visitation changed so that it's supervised visitation. And he was ranting and ranting like, this isn't, I'm like, this is why you need your medication because you, you're acting like this is a new thing. And I've been literally, excuse me, we've literally talked about it for the last two weeks. And it was never an issue then. So of course he's like, well, the judge can figure that out and they, he can figure out your eviction because I'm doing it today. Because one minute he's evicting us, the next minute he's not doing that because then we'll be homeless. And the next minute, then he comes over and hangs out for a couple of days. Like I said, we, last night he took us out running around and then bought us dinner. And then this morning he's back, he's evicting me because of custody modifications that he's known about for the last few weeks. So I don't know. It's been a day. Oh, because yesterday, the night before last, he got mad about something and was back to, he was evicting us, he was doing it the next day, so then yesterday, was that yesterday? Yesterday morning he texted me, he said, we need to figure this out, 
I'm like, we already said they were going to the courthouse to have the judge do the actual eviction process. I'm like, no, I didn't. And then today it's back to this. I don't know. What can I do? I'm just taking it day by day. I already started packing some stuff. So. <clears throat> Who knows? Slice of pizza, some rice. Let me load it up on carbs. It's Friday. Adri has activity night tonight at her school. <clears throat> I think she's going with two of her friends. Her one friend's stepdad is going to take them and bring them back, and then they're going to spend the night at my house. Her and two of her friends. Yeah, this morning it was on national news, the tornadoes here last night. It was bad. It was scary. Oh. Parents with kids. <clears throat> That is my cue. Go in and get my boy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so to take bring Jax to school this morning. Take Adri to school since she missed the bus. Alright, I'm sweating. Thanks for having lunch with me. I gotta go get my kid and I'll see you the next one. Bye, guys.